Hi, I'm Tiffany K. Baruso and I help women entrepreneurs get ahead in their business and get more clients online. So today I'm going to be showing you a little quick tech tutorial. The theme of November is going to be tech tutorials. I know a lot of you try and do things yourself. So um, with regards to your online marketing. So today I'm going to be doing a short tutorial on how you can check if you have Google Analytics installed. Now, a lot of people might know what Google Analytics is, but a lot don't. So I'll just tell you very, very quickly and briefly. Google Analytics is a free tracking tool that is provided by Google that you install into your website. And then you will be able to see who your visitors are, how they get to your website and what do they do on your website? How do they interact with your website and potentially contact you? So to be able to see this information, you need to install a small piece of code into your website. It sounds a little bit complicated, but I promise you it's very, very straightforward and I will show you how to do that. So first of all, we need to check if your website has Google Analytics installed. So let me quickly go into my screen, share the screen with you and you can have a look at the steps. Right, I want to show you on my website how you can easily see if I have Google Analytics installed. To do, to do that, you will need a Google Chrome add-on called Tag Assistant. Here is mine that I've installed in my browser just to show you how it works. So once you actually have it installed, you can then go to any website that you want and it will show you if the Google Analytics tag or any other tag is installed on that website. So on my website, for example, I've got Google Tag Manager. It is a different um, installation that I will be showing you. It's a little bit more advanced, but you will see that your Google Analytics tag will show up here. So it does say I've got an error, but that's just because I'm using an unconventional way of tracking and it is for sure working. I checked it. <laughs> so what you need to do is first of all, go and get that add on. It's called Google Tag Assistant. Just Google it and you would then just click on install. I've got it already installed, so it tells me to remove it, but you will just install it. Be very quick to install, and then you'll have your little icon up here. All right, so now you can go to any website you like. Let's go to um, the BBC website. Oh, BBC Good Food. There's my last <laughs> search. I was searching for a grilled chicken quinoa Greek salad recipe. <laughs> And there you go, I'm on their website and look how many tags it's picking up. It's picking up a lot of different ones um, because it's a humongous website, of course. But there you see, they've got Google Analytics installed. Now, if you go to your website and you do not see any of these tags, nothing that says Google Analytics, it means that you do not have Google Analytics installed on your website. Now that could be because either you have not set it up and installed it, so you do not actually have one, or uh, you do have a Google Analytics account set up, but the code is not installed onto your website. Therefore, if it's not shown in this um, Google Tag Assistant, it is not tracking. So that's the first step. Check that it is actually installed in your website. If hypothetically you do see a Google Analytics code on there, but you don't know where it came from, I highly recommend you contact the web developer that originally built your website and um, or who has set up a Google account for you and get access to that Google, uh, Google Analytics account. The reason being, um, if you do not do that and you put a new one in, you lose all that past data. So it's very important that you can try and get access to that current Google Analytics account. It's not the end of the world. If you cannot get the access, uh, we would just need to set up a new account and install a new code. And then unfortunately you lose um, the old data, which is a pity. Okay, that was showing you how to check. Next, we will go and actually set up a Google Analytics account if in case you do not have one you would go to Google Analytics. There we go. I'm just going to sign out of mine so you can see what you would see. Mm 
There has been some very big changes in Google Analytics lately, by the way, so it might be a little bit different by the time of my recording. I'm just going to sign out. Let's try that again. <laughs> now let's go and sign into a Google Analytics account. I have many, as you can see. But if you have a Google account, um, be it a Gmail or a Google account, you would use those logins to create the Google Analytics account. If you do not have a Google account or Gmail account, you will need to to set that up first, which would mean if you just Google create Google account going through the steps on, on this link. OK, but I'm assuming you have some sort of Google account, be it a Gmail or a YouTube account, something they all link together. And you will most likely not have any of this information that I have because I have various accounts. So this will be blank. I'm just waiting for it to finish loading. Right, so you would go on the left hand side, the admin panel. Click on create account. And you would follow the steps. Steps. So here you would create an account name, testing, or wait, let's call it tutorial. <laughs> if you would like to share your data with Google, you would leave these checked. If you do not want to share your information, it is anonymous though, then you would uncheck these. You click on next. You would set up the property. So that would be your website, your website.com. Select the time zone that you're in and the country so that your reporting reflects your time zone. And also select the currency. If you are selling things online, you will need to select um, the currency so Google can give you the accurate data. You can change these later if you made a mistake, so don't worry. Click on Next. Then you would select what industry you're in. It doesn't show all of them, but find one that is as similar as possible. That will be used to give you information on benchmarking. So they will show you similar data um, for, for various uh, similar companies in your industry. I'm going to choose Home and Garden. And then choose your size of your business, be it small, medium, large, very large. And then you can also choose which um, why you want to use Google Analytics to measure, to increase in conversions, to see what they're up to, and you would select accordingly. And click on Create. You will need to go through the terms and conditions, and then you accept or do not accept. Lastly, you need to tell them that you are setting up Google Analytics for a website. And here you would put your URL your website.com and the name my website or your website whatever <laughs> and then click on create stream so now you've actually created your google analytics account and you've set up your your code the next step would be to put that code into your website but i just wanted to show you here you will get allocated a very unique ID that is only applicable to you to your account. Okay, so this is what will be measured when you install it into your website. Okay, step two is to install the code into your website. The code I'm talking about you will find here called the global site tag. It might look really uh, be nothing to you really. It's just numbers and and letters, but this is the script that will need to be put on every single page on your website. But don't worry, you're not going to physically put them on each page. You will put it in a section of your website called the head. And that will automatically put this code into every single page. OK. So let's go to the back of my website and I'll show you two ways of installing onto your WordPress. One is using the Divi Builder 
which I use for all my websites and all my clients websites I highly recommend it it's a very user-friendly um, WordPress theme and builder if you don't use Divi that's also fine no problem and um, I'll show you a different way so first of all I'm going to show you the Divi way we go to the dashboard log into the back of your website okay you once you're in the dashboard and you have Divi installed, you would go down to Divi and into theme options. Then under integration, you will find the section that will be plugged in, put into your website in the head section here. And that will, this is where you will paste your code. As you can see, I have various other codes, but let's go into your global site tag and we're going to copy what you've just set up and you're going to paste it at the top over here okay and then you click on save changes that is the one way oops then the other way if you do not use Divi that's also fine I recommend you install a plugin called insert headers and footers And this is where you would, oops, in search plugins, you search for insert headers and footers. Oops. You install it and then you activate the plugin. Once you have activated, you will find it sitting under the settings uh, menu and you click on insert headers and footers and then you will simply paste in the code from Google Analytics here you go again and paste it in the scripts in the header because we want it on every single page and you click on save Step three is to, once you've saved your code on your website, is to double check that it is in, installed correctly and it's being picked up. So this is where your add-on that I explained earlier in the video called the Tag Assistant comes in very handy. You would go to your website, click on the Tag Assistant and see if your Google Analytics code comes up. Also, I recommend you check other pages as well, just to make sure that it is installed on all. Okay. And there you have it. Today you have learned how to check if your Google Analytics is installed on your website. If it is not, you have also learned how to set up Google Analytics and how to install it into your WordPress website. It was very simple, wasn't it? So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, please like it. And if you would like to see more of my videos coming up into your feed and be notified, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Facebook, and I look forward to sharing you some more knowledge very, very soon. Take care for now.